Time for another video here on Pack Busters. Back to baseball today. Ike and I were at our local Rite Aid here a few days back and we found one of these boxes and uh, you can kind of see what it is, jumbo box. You get a hundred baseball cards in here plus one, one pack. pack. Yep. And Ike, who do we have on the front here? I believe that's Aaron Judge for the Yankees. It is Aaron Judge for the Yankees. That's kind of why we picked this box. They had box. They um, they had I think a total of four boxes at the Rite Aid pharmacy we were at, but uh, this one had the best player on the front here. And uh, a lot of times these kind of repackaged things can. Uh, it's a Fairfield Company one. They can be total junk. Some people will say that. And I can understand why they would think that. But I've heard with this particular product, uh, I've seen some online reviews, that people have actually pulled like Mike Trout rookie cards and Bryce Harper rookie cards out of here. So, in fact, I just watched one the other day where somebody pulled a, granted they were opening like a hundred of these or a, a substantial amount, not just one, but they pulled a Bryce Harper rookie card. I saw that happen. So, it can happen, right? Yep. All right, go ahead, crack into it. Let's see what we have here. Curious to see what pack we might have in here. Yeah, that's the big thing. Oh, it's... It's glued right there, yeah. yep. Here, let's see, it might be easier. Close enough. Yeah, harder to... Boy. Don't want to totally damage the cards. Maybe easier to go at it from the from the bottom here. Huh? So much for pack busters. Right. <laughs> It'll just take us a minute. There we go. Right there with that that pretty. Oh no, that was not. I beg your pardon at all. That was not Mike Judge. I sure or uh um Aaron Judge. I sure thought it was, but I I was wrong. It was very, very wrong. All right, we'll split it up here. Ike will take his half. I'll take my half. You can go ahead. I'm just going to organize mine to get the cards all going the right way. Okie dokie. So first we have Mitchell, Miguel Andahar. Yep. We have Ron Hassey with a fake auto. We have Jesse, Jesse Jefferson. And look how poorly cut that card is. That's so you can get part of another card on the top. His name's all cut off at the top. Stephen Wright for the Red Sox. Larry Harlow. Larry Sorson. Dave Rose Rosello Ju Junior Kennedy. Definitely some older cards in here. Dave Fres Friesabon. Friesabon, maybe. Nineteen eighty two uh, tops checklist. Four card, I believe. Yep, checklist, checklist there. The cool thing about getting some eighty twos, at least we're getting some older cards. Roy Thomas got a Mariner. Uh, Mickey Mickey Brown. Brantley, I remember him. If only it was Mickey Mantle. Uh, Jim Rice. Hall of Famer Jim Rice. Bill Rip oh, Billy Ripkin. Brother of Cal Ripkin Jr. Bill Picota. Pete Skorek. Bryce Bruce Schick. Sutter. Yeah. Uh, Jerry Brown. Andy... Alice Alanson. Alanson. Greg. Uh, Jeffries. Yeah, Jeffries. Some Steve of Farr. Oh, we got a Bo Jackson. All right. That's maybe our, our coolest one, even though definitely not the best player we've seen so far, but a big name. Bob Tesforgi. Scott Ra Radskinsky. Lou Whitaker. Lou Whitaker. That one. Rod Brooker. Uh, Tony Oliva. That's kind of a 
Cool Lily card. Luna. Yep, turn back the clock. I love those turn back the clock cards when I was a kid. Willie Yensley. Mike Puglio. Pugli Probably not how you say it. No, that's all right. Uh, is Philly's it? Team Leaders yep. card from 1987. Dan Heron. It's a very good pitcher for the A's a few years back. James uh, Loney. I think. I think Christian Guzman. Guzman, yeah. Tommy John. So you want to know a famous thing about Tommy John? What? He had surgery. Maybe you've heard of Tommy John surgery? No. Nope. Very popular surgery now. And uh, he was like the first guy to have it, to go through it successfully, and that they named it after him. That's his claim to fame. Uh, we have Carlos Sosa. We have... Uh, Charlie Manuel. Manuel. Yep. It says he's a manager. Yep, manager card. Okay, so for a, a manager for a team in 2005. Ricky Gutierrez. Gutierrez. Oh. Whoa. Dropping some cards. Lance Paint. Painter. Yep, yep. Painter. Mark Leader, I believe. Let's see. Greg. Wait. Yep. Greg Olson. Not not the Greg Olson you're thinking yeah, of. Not Greg true. Olson, formerly of the Panthers, currently of the Seahawks. Yeah, not that one. Very different Greg Olson. Ray Lamb. That's kind of a cool, cool card. Cool card. Let's see what. Uh, that takes us back to 1972. So that's definitely an older card. Carmelo Marti Martinez, Jerry Royster, Bill Fahey. Angels team card. Yep, that's kind of neat looking. Jay B Baller, Joe Hex Hexkis, I think you say it. Juan Asco. Juan. Yep. Juan Agosto. We got two of those. Custom, not sure back to back. Anything. Terry Kennedy and Jerry Kennedy for me. Okay, your turn. All right. Sticking with some of these older ones. Bill Buckner. A lot of people remember the infamous Bill Buckner. Red Sox fans. Cost him the pennant back when. Todd Burns. Van Snyder. Ron Gant. I used to like him a lot in those Braves teams in the 90s that I so liked. Probably my favorite team other than the Mariners. Andy Bennis, I believe, was a former Mariner. Mm, yeah, might have been before his Mariner days. Neil Allen. Bobby Valentine, famous manager. Chris Gwynn. Not sure if that's related to Tony Gwynn or not. Dave Gallagher. Oh boy, Joe Queen Andahar, Joe Queen Andahar, I'm probably way wrong, Jim Acker, rated rookie of Scott Giamperanio, oh, probably totally butchered that, Rick Roden, Kevin Romine, Mike Lamb, Andres Galarraga, the big cat, Jim Leritz, Achilles card here of Doug Glanville, Gary Pettis. You know why I'm putting a Gary Pettis card out there? Dante's dad. The father of one Dante Pettis, currently of the 49ers. San Francisco 49ers and formerly of the Washington Huskies. Dave Clark, Willie McGee, Joe... Ma Magrain. Sounds good. Alfredo Griffin, Chris Nabholz, Joey Cora. Cool card. Why am I putting Joey Cora out here? Don't really know. Yeah, very, very famous Mariner. Was a fan favorite back in the day. Rich Rodriguez, Carlos Baerga, Ronnie Billiard, 
Fake signature yep. on that. Fast Milano. Brian Barnes. Hindu, Dave Henderson. Carlos Pena. Yep, Carlos Pena. Retro card it looks. Jeff Hamilton. Jack McDowell. Very, very good reliever. German Jimenez. Mark Witten liked him a lot as a kid, too, growing up. Ricky Bones. That's a cool name. Ricky Bones. I like that. Derek Bell. Greg Briley. Remember him as a Mariner. Yvonne Pudge Rodriguez. Hall of Famer. Catcher. Had a chance to meet him once. Tom Seaver. Hall of Fame pitcher. Right there. Record breaker card. Is that Andre Dawson? Yep, Andre Dawson. I believe he's a Hall of Famer as well. Al Nipper. Tim Wallach. Pedro Martinez. Hall of Fame pitcher. Ricky Anderson. Hall of Famer. Bobby Valentine. Second one of him. Second one, yep. Different manager card. Jake Lamb. A lot more current card. Arizona Diamondback, Jake Lamb. Kevin Segrist. Oh, looks like something was stuck, but it's just the way that card is. And Mike Moustakis. That rounds out our cards. Let's show them our pack, because we do have one pack. It's uh, ma the Major League Baseball cards. It's called the leaf and it's a 1993 it looks series two so 1993 series two leaf or 1993 beg your pardon series leaf the question is is there a Derek jeter rookie card in here because that could be he could have a rookie card in this set not totally sure without looking but uh let's crack it open and see 14 cards maybe we can get them Well, kind of an interesting little box of cards we have so far. Oh, um, did you forget this card? Oh, uh -oh, Billy Buckner had him pulled out. Red Sox fans don't want to be reminded of that anymore. Kind of an interesting box. Not like there's anything just totally amazing out of it, but when you figure it's five dollars, the same cost as a 2020 Top Series One pack, Jumbo pack. These anyway, you get way more cards. They do get stuck together. That's definitely a thing of those ninety cards. We have Hal Morris, Delino D Shields. Oh, the Shields, yeah. Weird. Oh, that's kind of double. -sided. Yeah, it is cool. Yep. I like how you get like a full picture on the back. Yep, I think that's yeah, that's for all of them. Roger Clemens. Will he make the Hall of Fame after a steroid scandal? Definitely one of the best pitchers of all time. Gerald Clark. Candy Milando. Barry Bonds. Another guy in the steroid scandal. One of the best home run hitters of all time. Maybe the best. Rob Dibble. Rob Dibble. Daryl Boston for the Rockies. And Chuck Finley for the Angels. And Tom McGlain. Glavin, Hall Glavin. of Fame pitcher for the Braves. Those Braves teams I used to watch. Well, that's... Him and Greg Maddox and John Smoltz, those three stars. Oh, Wally Joyner. He's in a about to slide. That's kind of a cool pose. Neat card. See if we can get these together. John Orton for the Angels, Lonnie Smith for the mm -hmm. Pirates, and Bruce Bruce Hurst for the Padres. So no huge hits out of there, but definitely some cool cards and. I mean, you can see the eras. I mean, you get cards going all the way back from the early '70s. Uh, we don't have any super current cards out here, but there were some. I mean, there was a Jake Lamb card that was just a few years old, so kind of a neat neat little product. When you consider it's only $5, like I say, that's the cost of a jumbo pack of, of current cards today. So something a little different, kind of neat. Definitely a lot of Hall of Famers. A lot of guys Ike hasn't heard of, unfortunately, but, uh, but wouldn't you say still 
kind of a neat little thing. Yeah. Should we try it again sometime? Yeah. All right. There you go. Until next time, we'll have more for you on Pack Busters later. Thanks for watching.